Hello there. Welcome to this video created thing slash virtual data model for the IoT solution. All right. In this video, we're going to first understand what is the IoT solution properties you would need. Then we will build a thing and we would build the necessary properties on the ThingWorks platform. Now, thing is just like an object. You can create a thing with the generic template. Basically, you're inheriting some generic properties or generic functionalities of an object. Then we were gonna add your properties. All right. So what are the properties you want to add? As far as this IoT solution is concerned, you need three properties. One is to detect the motion. So that's going to be of the type integer. Then we need to detect the light. And then for that, we're going to be using number as a data type. And then we need another one for the location, which has to send the values in lat long. So this is basically a special data type to hold values of latitude and longitude. All right, now let's log in to the TWX platform and take it from there. So as you can see, I'm already logged in. So if your server is not started, then you can go ahead and start your server, something like this. And then you can launch your server. So as you can see, now my server is starting. So once it's finished starting, it's going to have a functionality or a button here called launch and then you can click on the launch so give it a couple of minutes and then just hit refresh if you don't see the launch button here automatically all right so once i refresh this after let's say a couple of minutes then you would see there you go something like this okay now go ahead and hit launch so now it's going to open another window for you so this is going to be your specific server instance of the twx platform twx stands for thing works so the composer is launching let's give it a minute so this is your landing page as you can see here and you will see all things, 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 template, things, shapes, and everything, mash up, the whole nine yard. Now, what we want to do here is we want to create a thing and associate a set of properties. Now, of course, since I've already shown you the demo, I've already built the solution. So, I'm going to open and show you how this looks like first. So, I have created a thing called test send. And of this is of the type generic thing, basically a template which we inherited. So this inherits a set of common functionalities. All right. Now, if I go to my properties here of this specific thing, you would see that I have a lot of properties. First of all, we don't need these two properties, so might as well delete them. All right. This is all we need. So we need three properties motion light location so these three are coming from the iot device so this is going to come from your breadboard setup the is motion is another variable which we have created to manipulate the values coming from the motion which are coming as integer and then we would actually translate the numbers into something more meaningful for the dashboard for now you only need these three properties okay so let's zoom out we're gonna go to things and you're gonna create a new thing okay so i want to call this security app security iot app perhaps you can call it whatever you like and then you have to associate this with a generic template so go ahead and type ge so you're gonna see generic thing and there you go that's it so first things first you gotta save it all right congratulations you have your thing already now go to properties you see that you don't have any properties so now you're gonna say edit and you're gonna say add my property and then you're gonna start adding your properties all right so just as you saw there motion motion is going to be an integer so go ahead and choose an integer there you go 
and we don't need any minimum and maximum value so all we're going to do is just create this as it is and say done and add so this allows you to create another property immediately and now you can say light this is going to be of type number and say done and add because we have one more to create which is the location so you're going to say location and this is of the special data type location all right now since we're done i'm going to say done so now you see that you have three properties created and this is exactly what we want so go ahead and say save don't forget to save now you see your security IoT app thing click on it ensure that you have created with a generic thing then go to properties make sure you create all the three properties voila now you have yourself a thing and properties where you go in the next video we're going to set up a gmail triggering service really exciting